Hey everybody, and thanks for joining us today. Joseph Mundy here with AVA Direct, the leading PC integrator that has 10,000 different component options. You choose the brand, the make, and the model, doesn't matter, we're gonna build with it, we're gonna make sure it's built well. So if you wanna take a look at this PC and see how well we built it, stay tuned. Today we're gonna talk about this insanely well-built PC, it's got all of the ROG and all the RGB things, so Let's talk a little bit about that. What do you think? So I'm sure you all want to know about the specifications. Let's start with the name of the system first. So this system was built in our Avant mid-size gaming PC. And I don't know if we really want to mention those because I think we're planning to phase those out for the medieval series. I don't think I was supposed to read that, but you should stay tuned for our video about the medieval PCs because, you know, we have surprises. All right, so list of core specifications. We've all seen this case thousands of times over the last few years. This is the Lian Lee PCO11 XL. What I love about the XL is that it can fit three radiators, 360 millimeter radiators if you want to. And I'm the kind of person that if I'm building a liquid cooling system, I'm gonna shove all those radiators in it as much as I can. Because what, what else is the point? You don't wanna leave a whole lot of room in these cases by building half of a system inside of it. You know, cause we totally didn't post a video talking about how this case had way too much room in it before. Never. Um, so we have the Asus Strix Z90-E gaming Wi-Fi board. The E series is kind of like their their mid to upper tier series Strix boards because they all have like letter denominations to them that's supposed to be really readily apparent at the quality, but it's not always readily apparent. And that's what you have us for. You can call us and talk to us and we'll tell you exactly what boards fit for you based on your intended usage or your budget, whatever. So now that we talked about the board, let's talk about the processor. Of course, it's none other than a 13900KF, which is a really good value for the price point. It's an absolute monster with anything you have to throw at it. Gaming, video editing, video streaming, doesn't matter, it's gonna handle it all. So for the liquid cooler, we have the EK 360 millimeter Elite, and they are different for two different reasons. The block is kind of has kind of like a chrome look to it instead of like the, the black or even like the RGB based like frosted clear acrylic top to it, but it also comes total with six fans. Now the original design is that they're supposed to be mounted in push pull, but sometimes if we run out of space to be able to mount them in push pull, or maybe the build doesn't really take advantage of a push pull configuration, we'll put three fans on the radiator and then we'll throw those other three fans somewhere else to kind of add a little bit of a, an aesthetic design to it, I suppose. But the customer that built this system also put in white fans, which is a pretty cool contrast. You generally don't want to mix black and white fans, but I feel like those white fans in the middle kind of make it pop a little bit. So I think it all worked out in the end. And then of course, as you can see here, the, the biggest hunk of chunk of the build, we have an RTX 4090 Strix. These cards are fantastic as far as noise levels. They don't get very loud. The cooling performance is excellent and they look really cool. This is all powered by an EVGA 1300 watt P plus power supply. Uh, you can tell here that we have the adapter for the card that was designed to plug directly into the, the 12 plus four pin cable and then the three PCI Express. You will start seeing more power supplies come out that natively support the 12 slash six pin PCI Express cable. But as of right now, the adoption rate's kind of eking slowly. So hopefully as you see more AVA rigs, you'll start to see more native cables, wink, wink. Clearly because of a PCO11 Dynamic XL, you know, it looks like it was, it's not as big as it should be, unless you know, of course, you're a veteran to building PCs and you know what you're looking at more often than not, then you can see that this card is just absolutely gargantuan, but this is the perfect case to put it in, in my opinion. Just saying. Kingston 64 gigabyte memory, and that is at 5,600 megahertz, or MTs. Everyone's moving to MTs now, so 5,600 MTs which is pretty good. That's about the average that we see now with 64 gigs or more. You try to push that speed any further at 64 gigs or higher, you're gonna be kind of walking in the realm of instability. So we tend to tread lightly when it comes to memory performance and stability. We're not really at a point yet to where that level of speed or transfers per second is not making a huge difference. So therefore, we're always gonna err on the side of caution when it comes to memory stability because that can just wreak havoc in any system. Storage drives. We have Samsung 2 terabyte 990 Pro M.2, which is the main M.2 SSD. And then we have an auxiliary 2 terabyte 870 Evo SATA drive, which is most likely just being used to store pictures and photos and movies. I really love to see systems that have all flash storage in them because hard drives are starting to get old in their age and they really only have one purpose now and that's mass storage. 
And for gaming PCs like this, you really don't need mass storage at all. Onward to no more specifications. So let's move on, shall we? Pros and cons of the build. Let's start with the pros. As far as I'm concerned, I think the RGB accents are, are very well done. It's not overdone and it's not very minimal to where you're wondering what that shiny blinking light is inside your PC because some people do find that stuff distracting in certain ways. So I like that it's, it's very well balanced as far as the RGB elements go. Another pro is the wire management. Granted, these cases make it really easy to wire manage, but we tend to have higher standards with wire management than most system integrators. And I feel like we did a really good job at managing the wires in the build. It looks nice and clean and airflow for days, which is what you want. Very well balanced build. It's got an i9 processor. It's got an RTX 4090. It's got two forms of SSD storage. 64 gigs of memory. This is going to be a beast of a gaming PC. And if you're like me and you've been trying to play Hogwarts for like the past month, this PC can play it without crashing constantly. So, you know, it makes you actually feel like you're worth being in Ravenclaw because you can handle going through a single mission without it crashing constantly. Totally not speaking from personal experience at all. Cons. <laughs> Let's talk about the cons. Now, while this is a very fantastic case, we have well over like 600 different cases in our inventory and everybody just gravitates to this case. So if I had to give any kind of con about the system, I'd uh, kind of have to talk, maybe be a little bit more original and choose a different case. Oh, hey, bada bing. The skew in case you're interested in building this system, maybe with a different case, is 154-663-69. Uh, we're gonna have that skew in the description of the video below, as well as a link that will bring you directly to the configurator. So you'll have all of the default options to replicate this build off the bat, but you'll also be able to change things if you want. So if you could change anything about the build yourself, tell us what you do in the comments and then click on the link and then change it yourself and maybe buy it. That'd be sweet. Um, so other than the con of the case being the one case we've seen a million times over, the only other con I can think of is that there's no custom sleeve cables. Granted, that's not important. The system's gonna perform just as well as any other system without it. But, you know, with all the RGB elements, it would have been nice to see some custom sleeve cables to accent it. But on the flip side, I kind of feel like once you do custom sleeve cables, you're not tied to a specific color theme. And keeping neutral colors like black and white in a build primarily makes it really easy for you to change the theme of your system on the fly. Maybe one day you're a Browns fan. Maybe the next day you don't want to be a Browns fan anymore. Maybe you want to be a Cavs fan, or maybe the next day you don't want to be a Cavs fan. We're in Cleveland. That happens constantly. We've had our hearts broken thousands of times over. So seems like this would be a great Cleveland PC for us. Use case scenario for this system is pretty obvious, I feel. Gaming. It's very gaming-esque. You can even use it for streaming if you want, because I know back in the day, it was always really important for people that did basic streaming to have a separate PC for streaming. But honestly, unless you're going pro, you don't really need to do that. If you're just going to be streaming what you're gaming, systems like this can easily handle streaming and gaming at the same time. I've done it before. I've had tons of friends that do it all the time with, with systems like this, and it works just fine. No issues whatsoever. And ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us today in the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell button so you get notifications anytime we post cool videos like this. And let us know the one important thing that you need out of your PC to make it all warm and fuzzy for you. Thanks again for watching, and you have a great day. If you like the PC in this video, be sure to contact our sales team at sales at avadirect.com, or you can head over to our website by clicking on the link in the description below. You can choose from many pre-built options, gaming or workstation based, or use our configurator to build a PC of your dreams. Be sure to click that thumbs up button and subscribe, and don't forget to follow our social media channels at avadirect.com.